Uh, George, question for you. Just so like since, you know, well, for most of the season when you've been healthy, you've been kind of taking over that first team, that starting left back role. Does it change your mentality at all? Like going into training, knowing that you are finally kind of one of the key pieces of the team, as opposed to in the past when you've kind of been trying to fight your way up that kind of depth chart, so to speak. Um, I'll say no, it doesn't. Um, and I feel like it shouldn't to any young player like me. Um, I feel like it's important for me to stay focused. And just because, like, it looks like I have the starting job, I still shouldn't get too high on the scale. Like, I'm still, like, trying to um, compete for a spot all the time, whether it be in training or in games. So I just have that mentality to where I'm always still in competition. I'm always still trying to try my best and just to keep that position and stay consistent. So that's what's really on my mind. Uh, you, George, you being a young player, um, even with this – um, flow of matches coming since the restart. How are you feeling physically? Oh uh, yeah, my body's been feeling well. Um, I feel like my body's been coping really well with this string of kind of games. I've been really uh, taking care of it, doing the little things, of course. And yeah, my body feels really good, uh, with, and it's been coping really well with these string of games that come really quick. So. George, George, how would you explain um, the team's struggles on offense and how close? do you think you are to kind of finding a rhythm again, particularly in that final third? Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of talented, talented players on the attacking side, of course. And I feel like it's just a matter of time before we get into the groove of things again. Um, we have a lot of options. Like I said, we have a lot of ideas. We just have to execute those ideas and those creative ideas. We have a lot of creative players. So, I mean, I feel like it's not a problem or a struggle at all. And we'll definitely be able to, get back to be able to score a lot of goals, hopefully, and creating a lot of chances like we used to. Hey, George. How are you, Felipe, here? Good. How are you, Felipe? I'm doing well, thanks. I've got two questions for you. I'll, I'll ask the first one. You can go ahead and answer it. Uh, it looked like, you know, you and PT had a really nice dynamic uh, on that left side. Both you guys were switching in and out. When you got, got around the box, the combination play was there. You guys got creative. Talk about that, how that relationship kind of developed and what's next considering that PT's on his way out. Yeah, it was a good relationship. We had some good chemistry over there at the left-hand side. I um, mean, I wish him all the best with everything, of course. And, I mean, it's just a better opportunity for other people to step up now and fill his place. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like I said, we have a lot of creative players and talented players, so I feel like it won't be too much of a void in, with my chemistry. And I can play with a lot of players on the wing like Barco, there's Jake Moraney and just a lot of like a talented guys, Castro and all these wingers. So, I mean, I feel like it's going to be too much of a void. I mean, we'll be able to fill it quickly. And like I said, we have talented, talented players. Um, so I don't really see it as a problem as losing too much of a chemistry type player, but we did have some good chemistry. So we will be missed. Got it. And then my, my next question is, I mean, as a win back, clearly you, your history is more, you've always been an attacker. I mean, you, you've, that's been part of your game. You're in a wing back position where you're doing both a little bit of both, but when you get forward, uh, that's where you tend to really excel. What has Alfonso Davis's influence been on you? Just watching him, um, for, I don't know if you know him, but watching him the last few months and the way that he has just exploded onto the scene and become one of the best wing backs in the world. Yeah, he's a great player, um, and for sure, I was watching him because like. I can, I can see some myself in him and the way, like, he attacks. He's, like, he's more of an attacker than a defender, I would say. And he likes to attack a lot. So, watching his game, I do watch a lot of his game um, and just learn some things from him and just find the little things I can learn from that. But, I mean, yeah, he's a great player, and I hope he keeps doing good as well. But, yeah, watching him is, is really good for me because I can learn a lot of things and what he does in his play, which I can try to translate into when we play our game. So, yeah. We got anything else for George? Emerson's on too, so I, uh, I can get him in if we're ready. All right, everyone. Um, so, George, on the, when you take you the first team roster, you probably have the most experience with um, Glassy through your time in the academy. Um, can you talk about what your relationship has, has been with him throughout the years? Yeah, he's a, he's a great, great coach and even better guy, like I've said before. And, I'm really comfortable with him. Um, he knows me. I know him. So it's been really good. And he's a really 
an approachable kind of coach. Um, you can go to him with anything. He's open to any ideas, and he's really specific with uh, everything he does, whether it be how we press, how we want to keep the ball, and how we want to start from goal kicks or any set pieces. And he's really specific with those kind of things, which I like about him. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, he's really approachable kind of guy, which uh, any good coach should be approachable. So I really like him a lot. So, And I feel like he's been doing well for us so far.